It's not cold in here. It's a good hard count. It is it's cold. Good. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it just reminded me I actually have nipples. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> guys have nipples. You do forget about nipples oh, sometimes, don't you? Yeah. As a dude, Ooh. you do forget about nipples. Hey, fucker, I have nipples. Until you're fucking, <laughs> until you're shirtless in bed. And your dumbass dog fucking steps on it and drags her nails across it. Oh. <laughs> Why are we so vulnerable? Then on the you nipple? remember that you have nipples very quickly. I think I shaved my nipple off one time. Really? Yeah. What it's are you, not true. The, like the ball part. The ball part. Why were you shaving your? You're shaving your chest. Yeah. Oh really? Oh, yeah. Do you shave chests all the time? Uh, not recently. He didn't at the pool. No. Yeah. Was little, I wasn't staring hairy. at Zito's fucking chest. I to was because his fucking golden brown skin was looking <laughs> good in the sunlight. <laughs> he had both of his nipples too. Huh. I'll clip her mine sometimes. Yeah. Every now and then, the guard. Your nipple? The, yeah, it'll get, it'll no, get caught in chest, the guard. But the guard tip, the, you know, the like little fucking like mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. cat nails. Yeah. yeah. And it cat nails. Right on the. Oh. Yeah, I used to use the, the single blade, the one big knife, and you just shave my stomach. Really? Yeah. Just and bare I, bones, huh? And I think my nipple grew back, actually. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, nothing Maybe. worse than a nipple twister, though. No, no. Back in oh, the, the day. Purple, literally purple. Literally nothing you worse. You think ours are more sensitive? Yeah. I Foxy, think how many of those did you get in your day? Ten you fucking billion. Nerd. Ten billion. <laughs> Every person in high school that walked by me knew I hated it, so I was the one that got my fucking nipples touched. The double twister was oh, the dude, worst. It was dude. the worst thing in the world. Real fucking cock strong farm kid would just grab both of them. And <laughs> 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 and there's well, nothing you can do. Like, your arms won't even work to fight back when that happens. You're just like, oh. To be honest, it was always the wrestling guys. The wrestling guys <laughs> oh, always yeah, gotta be touching worse. and grabbing and grappling at all I, times. I agree. Those hey. fucking cock strong assholes. They are. <laughs> they really are. You're like sitting in like a room, like shooting for like a takedown on you. It's like, <laughs> hey, dickhead, like trying to watch TV. Stop fucking doing this. <laughs> all the time. That's all they do. Oh, like, all the grabbing the back of your neck and oh. shit. Always. Here we go. Welcome to Heartland Radio 2.0. I don't know where you're sitting, but if you paid for those seats and you didn't get them on SeatGeek, then you're an asshole. Yep. <laughs> it's the best ticket buying platform on the internet. If you're going to go see any kind of live event, a Broadway show, maybe a musical, maybe a sporting event, football's coming up. You got to go to at least one game, mm -hmm. I feel like. Yeah. Right? Probably. Is that the rule? You got to go to one game? Yeah. Like, you guys will go to one Steelers game. Yeah, at, at least. least, yeah. I'll go to one yeah, Colts to. game, at least, depending on how things go. Mm -hmm. You're going to go to a Green Bay game, I mm -hmm. assume, this you year. Bet. You're going to go to the Detroit game. Yes, You're going to go to the Chicago Bears game. Well, he's a fake fan. He's not a fan. Zito, do, you, yeah. do you remember who the coach is? <laughs> yes, I do. Mr. Matt. Mr. Matt? Mr. Matt. Mr. Matt. I tell you what, he's a smart-ass coach. Oh, and yeah. If you ask him, Matt. Where should I get seats to that game to come see your team play? He's uh -huh. going to tell you a seat game. Exactly. It's the only place to Because he's going to say, you know why? You know why you should pick that place to buy your tickets, Cito? You know? Because they scan all the other ticket buying mm -hmm. sites, mm -hmm. and they look for the best deal for your buck. Like They're like, this three. is the best seat for the amount of money you're going to spend. You're going to spend $50. This is the best $50 seat you could possibly find on the Internet every time, and your purchase is fully guaranteed. So you shop with complete confidence. Make seat get your go-to App for finding the best deals on every type of ticket, whatever it is, and use our promo code because you'll get ten dollars off. Ten dollars off your first SeatGeek purchase. Download the SeatGeek app and enter the promo code Heartland today. That's promo code Heartland for ten dollars off your first SeatGeek purchase. Whoa! <laughs> we have breaking news. What's this? What's this? <laughs> the Big Show is getting his own show on Netflix. Well. <laughs> It's a reality show? No, it's a multi-camera sitcom, so we'll see how long that oh. lasts. But, uh, oh, probably not shit. long. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that's the best format for the big show. Yeah, I don't think it is either, right. but... <laughs> so we were talking nippies? You never know. Um, as far as, like, school things that people did to each other, mm -hmm. what's worse, like, getting your nipples twisted or getting ball tapped or getting your hair pulled up ball on tapped. the back of your neck? Or was there other... I think the titty twister was my least favorite. 
Uh, we had to carry our books around because they outlawed backpacks for a while, and I think getting your books fumbled out of your hand oh. was the worst. It was so demoralizing. Ball security, though. Then you had to sit there and pick them all up. I know I did Not it to me. everybody. That's why, that's why I had the zipper binder that held like 17 notebooks yep. in it. <laughs> the ball tap ended in my high school days. I think that was more probably illegal age. then. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, my older brother You want to go to jail, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> You ever get a knee in the thigh and it's like a, like a Charlie horse? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. The monkey, common perennial nerve runs the, uh, through there. The monkey bubble with the knuckle to yep. the oh. forearm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Dude, we also knot sets up. There was a period of time. We remember when snap pants were awesome. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We, you learned like after your second time wearing snap pants that you definitely had to wear shorts. Yeah, oh yeah, you had mm-hmm. to wear basketball oh, yeah. shorts. Yeah, yeah. Or you were you were just gonna be naked. <laughs> Wait, you free balled it, and you had uh, to tie your basketball shorts too if you wore those to school. No, I didn't. I didn't free ball it, but right you know, I just ankles. had I just had my normal ass briefs or whatever. <laughs> before uh, before our school outlawed water bottles, we used to walk around the hall with water bottles, and when you'd see your buddy walking down the hall, you know, crossing past, you'd give him a quick squirt and squirt each other in the crotch so it looked oh, like they pissed themselves. Then they had to walk right into the classroom with just a wet crotch. Mm-hmm. It's not pissing, guys. <laughs> 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 Fucking Nick, man. <laughs> Speaking of nipples, there is a man that I know that has probably the best set of nipples. For a dude that uh, small, I've ever seen. Nice, they're just perfect. He has perfect nipples. I don't know what happened, what uh. God intended for him to do in life by giving him those nipples. He's not using them to his advantage. I can tell you that <laughs> right now, right now, because he just does stand up comedy. But we had him on the show before. Had a conversation with him last <laughs> night because he's coming to town to stay with me for oh, a few Richie nights. Nips. Oh, he's Richie with you. Nips, Reagan, oh. everybody. Uh, so I thought we'd give him a call, do a little catching up because he's coming to do some comedy in Indianapolis this weekend. So let's let's give him a call, there, Zeet. <laughs> McComas. What's up, fucker? How you doing, buddy? Good, man. We were just talking about your nipples and how fucking good they were. <laughs> I said, Rich Reagans has, like, the best nipples of any guy I've ever seen. I uh, really do. You know what else they are? Salty. They they're really salty? are. They're kind of salty. Well, I don't know how they taste, but, you know, if that's the word on the street in Louisville, I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> hey, I got to apologize. I missed your uh, birthday. So happy oh, belated birthday! I, Some friend, huh? I appreciate I that, man. You you missed a lot. It was it was it was fun, man. Really? You have a bash? I, yeah, we did. I had both sides of the family come over, and first of all, I want to thank you for doing this later in the afternoon and not in the morning because I was more fucked up than Lieutenant Dan's leg, <laughs> partying my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the state police would say to me, but you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, that's no, great. man, I had the whole family over, both sides of the family, in my little house. You've been there, you know. And, oh, yeah. Um, there was, you know, It was just love and drinking and drama and, you, you got know, some crazy when you get family. both sides of the family together, you know, it's gonna, you know what it's going to be, you know. Yeah. And uh, the big thing was my nephew – to be funny, to play a joke on his girlfriend, he got down on one knee and asked if she'd make him a sandwich. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. This, he's learned nothing from me. I mean, he's not, <laughs> he's not learned a damn thing from me. And so that was a big deal. And then there was an argument with uh, my cousin because his wife thinks that he should not only go to all his boys' games – but also go to the practices to support him because you oh, know how Jesus. people are in this day and age, right? Yeah. And um, which is bullshit because, <laughs> I mean, my dad, of all my football games, my dad came to one game and that's because he sold bleachers. That's <laughs> the only reason my old man showed up to my games, dude, and I'm, and I'm fine now. So. Oh, so, yeah. so that was good. So we did all that stuff. And then, of course, um, my sister's walking around with cookies. You want a cookie? You want a cookie? And you know, nowadays you gotta ask like, cookie? Like, what kind of cookie? <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, like you da- you're down or? like that. It's kind of like asking for sex. You know, you just like, that we, you know, that that kind of cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and they were those kind of cookies. And nice. so, uh, you know, it's bad when you leave the cookies out and the kids walk up on them and you go, "Don't eat those." <laughs> 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 okay, I'll eat a quarter. <laughs> 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 so then my girls um so then we had a good time and my girl was uh uh she's she's i'm mad at her we had a big thing because she turns the music she likes to watch musicals with the sound off which i think is the weirdest shit ever <laughs> we were talking about that, but, yeah. um she's mad at me because i'm going back to hawaii again my uh-huh. second home yeah and um and i got work there you know i got pub work there so um but she's still pissed because she can't go uh so all right i want 
Are you okay with? The, can you? I don't want your girl to get mad at you, but can you talk about how you end up becoming like Hawaii's favorite son all of a sudden? Oh yeah, yeah, I can talk about it. All right, um, tell that story because that's one of my favorite Rich Reagan stories of all time because it just defines who Rich Reagan's is as a human being more perfectly than any other story I've ever heard. <laughs> okay, well, okay, kids, gather around. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. Eat a cookie and listen up. Um, so, uh, uh, what, year and a half ago, something like that, uh-huh. uh, I was dating a girl then who was, you know, you could say crazy, but we say all girls are crazy, but she was crazy enough for all the girls. You know, right. she was just <laughs> nuts. And uh, so we, we, she was pissed before we got there anyway, but she was real, real insecure about a lot of things. And I went out there and uh, the flight was delayed. And she was acting like something was up. I got to L.A. and I said, hey, my flight's delayed and I'm going to hang out with um, Bowers or uh, and, and a couple other guys. And mm-hmm. and she was just being super, super weird. What's wrong? Nothing. What's wrong? Nothing. You know, you know, their, their favorite game. What's wrong? Like nothing. you can control the schedule of the airlines and what planes get delayed and what. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually hacked into all Delta's, right. you know, flights, you know, with, you know. Just to the buy you a little, like, extra that. alone time, yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. Because um, let me tell you, you can get laid in Kentucky. I don't need to go to L.A. There's right. a lot of women here at the Golden Corral that are right up my alley. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, I go there, and I get there in the middle of the night. I'm there. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Her parents have a place there, so oh, well I go to, to do. Place. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty. Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah, they got that kind of dough. <laughs> and right. so, uh, so I, I, I get there, and it's all huggy kissy. One in the morning, how you doing? We, she shows me the place. It's right on smack dam on the water. Nice. And we're having some drinks, and and uh, she looks at me. She goes, "So what did you do in L.A.?" And I go, "Huh." She goes, what did you do in L.A.? What did you do, Rich? What did you do? And I go, you know, honey, you're, you're getting a little crazy. I'm, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> or I went to take a shower to go to bed. So I left my phone out there, and I don't have a passcode on my phone. I'm not a cheater. I mean, you know me, dude. I mean, I've always chased women, but I'm, I don't cheat. Right. And so, uh, so you know, I don't even have a passcode. Who, If you're cheating, who the hell leaves their phone out with no passcode? <laughs> right. Your girlfriend <laughs> goes and takes a shower. That's just dumb or shit. So, uh-huh. so I take a shower. I get out of the shower. She comes busting through the door while I'm driving, drying off. She goes, what is this text on your phone? I love you. And just rares back and bashes me in the face with my own phone. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my own phone, my own plan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I was kind of mad because she got the drop on me. She wouldn't have done it, but she was a southpaw. I would have caught it if she wasn't a uh, southpaw. Right, yeah. <laughs> she was a, a big lefty, man. And so... Um, so, man, I, I grab her and I swing her down on the ground. I still don't even know what she's talking about. And I sit on her and I look at the thing. And it's from my buddy Kevin out in California that sent me some great music when I was real high one night. And I wrote back, text back, I love you like mm-hmm. I would you. Yeah, you say it all the time. Buddy, right? right. Yeah. So I finally jump up. I said, now, listen. I said, I've been up for, and with a delayed flight, I've been up like 30 hours or something, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I go, look, I'm going to bed. You need to get the fuck out of here and let me go to bed. She says, no, you're getting the fuck out of here. And I'm like, yeah, right, whatever, honey. She stood over me and said, you are leaving right now. And then you remembered you had no financial interest in the place you were staying. (laughs) You were like, oh, yeah, Yeah. I don't have any say over this. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I didn't even have time to get food out of the fridge and go through the whatever. But uh, so I said, all right, I do. I'm not coming back. So, you know, I grab my stuff. I'm still naked. <laughs> I throw my clothes on, walk out the door. As soon as I walk out the door, the wheel breaks off my suitcase. <laughs> oh, I mean, as worst. soon as I walk out the door. Now, it's like 2.30 in the morning. Oh, so geez. I start calling to try to get a hotel, but the whole island's full. There's no place to go. No place to go. So um, I just start walking around, man. And I walk around, walk around, walk around. And... uh there's, I couldn't even get an Uber. There was nothing. I could mm. not get anybody to respond. So I'm walking around Hawaii. I, you know, I've been up for I don't know how long. So I said, fuck it. I just got to go crash somewhere. So I go down near some beach. And uh, I dug out a place in the sand between a bunch of bushes. And I wasn't worried about <laughs> That's crafty. sleeping outside thing. Because, I mean, I was a, I was a Boy Scout You're growing a up. Billy, yeah. I mean, you know, 
Oh, dude, that was an Eagle Scout. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got an Eagle Scout for only completing one merit badge. Keeping quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping your mouth shut, bro. I mean, <laughs> the, the merit badge actually looked like the front of a Stones album. It was great. So, um, <laughs> with a little X through it. Uh, so anyway, so man, I, I but it's freezing at night. It's like 49 degrees. It's the only night there that was cold, that was freezing cold. So I didn't have any real warm clothes. So I dug out this thing and, uh, and I put all my t shirts on. I put uh, I put socks on my hands for mittens, you know. I put my aunt made three pair of underwear into a hat, you know. I was like, "Fuck!" Uh, I'm laying there, and the homeless dudes are walking by looking at me, you know, like I'm crazy. And they got a, they got a huge homeless problem over in Hawaii. I don't know if you've been there or not, but like uh, uh, eggs are like six dollars and fifty cents on sale, a dozen eggs. Jesus. Yeah, they're, those dudes are homeless because they don't like rice and beans. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but uh, so man, I just sat, sat there shivering all night, and uh, so I get up the next morning. I, I you know I you don't really sleep, so I'd been up for Jesus Christ, I don't know how long. And so finally, I uh, I walked, I moseyed down to this little uh, dock with a bunch of boats and stuff, and I'm like, all right, what am I gonna do? I don't know a soul. I know one thing, I ain't going back. I ain't going back home, and I'm not going to fly home yeah, early. Pride. I'm not going to lie. I'm staying, like, stovetop stuff. And <laughs> so uh, so uh, I'm sitting there. I don't know what to do, and I hear this behind me. And I turn around, and it's a city bus, and the door opens. I said, oh, all right, I'll just get on here and see where I go. So I jumped on the city bus, and I went riding all over the island. And after a while, I was like, man, i got to take a shower. So I go to a YMCA because I belong to the Y. You can go to any Y for free if you're out of town. So I go take a shower, and I come out. And I see this big Hawaiian ukulele player giving somebody a lesson out front of the wine. I go, hey, man, you know where I can get some uh, good local grub? He goes, brah, you got to go to Sam Sato's Noodle House. I'm like, oh, what's that? Best noodles on planet Earth. I'm going <laughs> in about 10 minutes. You want to go, brah? And I go, well, sure. I don't know this dude. You know, uh -huh. he's big, cuddly, adorable. I'm getting in the truck with him. So I did. <laughs> and uh, so I get in the truck with this dude. I don't know him from Adam. He's like, hey, uh. Yeah, we go get the we go get the noodles, and he goes, "You want to go to my house and eat these noodles?" And I go, "Sure." And Jesus. so I go to the guy's house, and him and his wife own a bed and breakfast in Maui, in uh, in the upcountry. It's it's uh, um, it's called Highly Miley, is where it is. And so uh, so I get there and I eat these noodles, and I said, "Hey, can I go lay down one of those lawn chairs?" <laughs> he goes, "Yeah." <laughs> so so man, I go in there, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, man, I was out cold. And so I wake up nine hours later. There's a dog licking my face. Uh, and uh, and I go, and I'm looking around, and he's going, brah, brah, we've been trying to wake you up for hours. <laughs> he goes, and they owned a bed and breakfast, but here was the thing. There were still no rooms. Oh, they were full. So, yeah, they're full, too. So they, he didn't offer me a place to stay. He just said I could take a nap on his lounge chair, you know. So uh, he goes, brah, look what we got set up for you. And I turn. McComas, he's got a dome tent set up with sleeping bags and pillows and <laughs> bottled water and a little lantern. Uh, yeah, we got bed and breakfast, but the dome tent, <laughs> maybe the dome tent's good for you. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the weird part is this story doesn't even get gay at all. Really like, I mean, this is a sc gay screenplay we should write. I mean, it would be a huge hit, you know, Hawaiian lay love or whatever. But, um, so I wake up, dude, and... um. I'm so, I wake up, I see the tent, I go, thank you. I don't even stand up. I crawl from the lawn chair <laughs> on all fours to the tent, and I go to sleep for another eight hours. Jesus so I slept Christ. for maybe 20 hours straight, right? right? So um, uh, I got to know the guy. He I just, him and his family, and he was, he's working on these units, you know, and uh, I said, what are you working on? He was putting some trim up and pulling some cabinets out. I said, man, I said, let me, let me do that for you. Oh, he's right I'll up your it. alley there. Oh, yeah. He was like all day. Like, Where's your tools, man? I just grabbed his shit and I started just ripping this kitchen out and putting dude everything. And he walked back in a couple hours later. He said, man, this is great. So then they invite me into dinner. We start telling stories and, and drinking wine. And, and they adopted me. <laughs> I got dual citizenship now, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do, man. I, and, and my name is my name is Kalakoa is my Hawaiian name. And, um, what does that and they mean? Call, it means it means rich wood. It means prosperous wood. Oh, 
Yeah, Kala, you know, um, Kala is, is, is wood, and, or, or Kala is money, uh-huh. and Koa is wood. And so um, they don't call me Richie, they call me Kala when I'm there. Dude. If that was like a porn that somebody made, that would be your perfect name. <laughs> oh, money wood, yeah. So I know, money, money wood, <laughs> Kala Koa. And you know, it's funny too, when I go someplace there, when I went on stage there, I went up as Kala. When I when I go to a Starbucks there, they go name. I go Kala. And they go okay, Kala coffee. I'm like yeah. Just <laughs> acting Kala. like you're one of the yeah indigenous people to the island. Oh yeah, I fit right in, dude. But it's so it's so laid back. It's over because there, you know no strangers. You know what I mean. Wherever you go, you're just like you know no strangers. You just fucking fit right in. People love you. And then, I, this is like this is the perfect Rich Reagan story. Like only you can go there. With the potential of having the worst vacation experience of all time because your lady gets pissed off the first five minutes that you get there and kicks you out of the fucking place. There's nowhere to go. You're fucking living homeless on a beach. And next thing you know, you befriend some freaking well-off <laughs> owners of a bed and breakfast <laughs> that are friends with everybody on the island. I mean, she kicked me out. I'm 4,000 miles from home, and you're going to throw a brother out on the street in the middle of the night, and he ain't even, he don't know, I don't know, I don't know where on planet Earth I am. <laughs> I mean, I, and I slept in that tent the whole time. I never slept indoors once the whole time I was there. Really? The whole week you were there? I was there 10 days, and I never slept inside once. Christ. And you go back and see these people all the time, right? Oh, they call me up all the time, and um, and we talk all the time, and they're really, really cool, and... um. And uh, I went and did comedy there last time I was there. Mm-hmm. Well, I just went. They said, come visit. And I just said, okay. And I just jumped in. And, and now they put me up. Oh, shit. They gave me a car to drive. When I was there last time, they gave me a Lexus to drive and put me up in a room. Jesus and, Christ. And uh, I, I scraped and painted some shit for them. We went back to <laughs> Sam Sato's noodle house and stopped at this place. Oh, dude. We stopped at this place. And you know how I like to eat, man. Mm. They, this place had the... Um, I had coconut and banana pancakes with macadamia, macadamia cream sauce on them. And I'll never have better pancakes again as long as I live on planet Earth. I mean, Jesus it was the Christ. best shit. And they do food so good there. Oh, my God. So um, Why don't yeah, you so just move back. there and be their handyman on the grounds and just live there and do comedy on the island for tourists as they come through? Well, it's funny you should say that, McComas, <laughs> because they just recently asked me. That's why my girl's mad at me because they said, look, we want you to come. We want to go. They're in Cyprus right now. And so they said, listen, we want to go back to Cyprus for a month in October, and we want you to run our bed bed and breakfast. (laughs) Jesus (laughs) Christ! Yeah, (laughs) right. So they're going to pay me, pay me to run the bed and breakfast. I'm going to do, I got two comedy gigs lined up when I'm there, and I'm going to rent my house out for the month here. Uh. I'm going to be making all kinds of cash. I'll be working, (laughs) you know, and so, you know, people can come visit if they want, buddy. You want to come visit? You know what's going to happen? You're going to take that, and you're going to go there, and you're going to be managing the bed and breakfast. At some point, there's going to be an elderly couple there, and then both of them are going to die in their sleep, (laughs) and these people are, like, very rich, and they're going to love you so much that you didn't know it. They changed their will the night before (laughs) so that everything would not go to their kids and only to you, and you're going to leave Hawaii with, like, $20 million. (laughs) I guarantee it's just how your life gonna, works I mean, out. I'm going to be, Bon Jovi's going to be asking to hang with me. I'm going to be like, <laughs> sorry, I'm hanging with McComas. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of hanging with me, man, the reason I called you, part of the reason was um, you're staying with me this weekend because you are going to be headlining the upstairs room at Helium Comedy Club. One show yes. Friday, one show Saturday this week, right? Yeah, and they said if the numbers, they think the numbers are going to be good, they might add a second show on Saturday. So, yeah, that's what's going down, man. This week we get to hang. Yeah, so I wanted to let everybody know, because you were on here before, people loved you, so I wanted to remind them of who you were. And if you live anywhere within a reasonable driving distance of Indianapolis, Indiana, which that means seven and a half hours, (laughs) then go to Helium Comedy Club. Dot com Indianapolis. I don't know. You go to Helium Comedy Club, their website, hit the Indianapolis store. You get there. Look for his show. There's another headliner in the big room. He's in the upstairs room. These are intimate shows. There's only 60 tickets, I believe, for each show. So they're going to go fast. So if you want to see Richie while he's hanging out with me this weekend, make sure you do it. Pick the Saturday show if you got to pick one or the other because <laughs> I'll probably go to that one. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time, man, because you put on a great show, especially when it's an intimate, a smaller crowd like that. That's your forte. Like you're you're good at the big shows too, but I like to see you just let loose and just talk with the crowd. So that's gonna be a good show. 
Oh, it'd be great. Now, let, and listen, do some time if you want to. Be on the show with me if you can. I'll think about fast. it. I'll Rich, think about Rich it. what he hasn't told you yet is that he really just needs some trim and cabinet work done <laughs> at his house. <laughs> yeah, I if I walk bathrooms. in and you're dressed like a Hawaiian, I'm going to need some <laughs> okay? I do got some bathroom work that he's done, so I'm looking forward to that. Maybe you can also convert my shed into a pub for me. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Hey, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for calling. Love you as always, and can't wait to see you this weekend. All right, love you, buddy. See you this week. All right, brother. Later. Later. Are you converting your shed into At a At some point. I'll probably have him do it. I think I'll just do – because he doesn't really work. <laughs> Motherfucker's a gypsy, right? <laughs> like he, he he has money always somehow. He just you know he, between comedy shows and doing side work for people or whatever. But he does like every all his shit's paid off from when he had a lot of money. He just <sighs> took, nice. you know he did the right thing, paid mm-hmm. everything off, and so he, he doesn't need he doesn't have a big nut you mm-hmm. know for outgoing bills and stuff. So he's kind of this free spirit dude. Like he just takes sounds like Kramer. <laughs> he is yeah. a lot. So I think I was to bring him up for like a month and just stay in my extra bedroom and like dude redo my shit. How big is your shit? It's uh, it's just a standard like backer shit, but it has a porch already with an overhang in the front of it, so it's kind of built r- conducively to be like a. I mean, I've been to your house. I just can't picture your it's shit. A, like a little cabin. Yeah, it looks like a little cabin yeah. from far away. You gonna put a kegerator in there? Oh yeah, that's that's the goal. A little kegerator. It's, it's, it's like a. You need a TV out there too. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. You need a TV. <laughs> Bar stools. Yep. Because you're not gonna go out there if there's not a TV. Right? I know, right? Yeah, move the fire closer to. I don't the go room. anywhere unless there's a TV. I know, <laughs> that's a good rule of thumb. Yes, get some ice out there too. Let's talk about this, please, because I'm All getting right, roasted right it. now. And I thought I was on the right side of this argument, but apparently I'm not. Okay, what is it? I got. I ordered a drink from Chick Fil A today. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they bring me, you know, they bring me the beverage, and it is the small ice cubes, the baby ice cubes, a crushed. bunch of them. Cr- I guess you could call it crushed. But they're, they're more like but nuggets. But they're all the same size. Yes. That kind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. it's not like, like pellets, a full like ice, ice cube. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So I, yeah. I sent out a tweet and said, I'm. it's been years I've been thinking about this, and finally I've decided I'm out. You know, right. I like the big cubes. I've been accustomed now to drinking whiskey and drinks like that the with best. a big cube, and it's bled over into all that I drink. And like now at home, when I'm in my apartment, I only use the big cubes when I drink <laughs> beverages Cause, because oh. it doesn't water down. You drink as much, and I think it's better quality. But a lot of people disagree, so I want to mm. see what you guys think. These, these are the cubes in the in the uh, Chick Fil A cubes. Those are the cubes that look like when you aerate your grass. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Chick Fil A and Sonic, I guess, are the big and ones. Pizza that Hut. Originally, I called those Pizza Hut ice because the, uh, Pizza Hut had them for a long time. I'm not a fan. What yeah, I'm got, on the what? same page here. I'm mm. a big. Uh, they the, stink. I'm the big square cubed uh, whiskey Thank cubes. You. Yep. Yeah. Or the or the ball whiskey cubes, the sphere. Ooh. The ba- for, in the science behind that, how they melt slower. Oh, it's the unbelievable. balls is amazing. But so also, I, it's, with, when I ahead. like, but if I'm at home, I don't mind like a chipped ice. Mixed, like if I'm doing a margarita on the rocks. If it's like, I like shaved? It, uh, just like m- out of my fridge. Like crushed yeah. yes. yes. yeah. yeah. See, that's okay. not bad. Because oh. I'll, I'll chew on them while I'm drinking it. See, out of the out of the refrigerator, between cubed and crushed, I always go cubed. Yeah. Oh, no. I it do depends too. what I'm drinking. But, I mean, I, I can do some crushed shaved ice here once like in a while. I feel like there for mm-hmm. fucking 12 minutes. It also jams up, <laughs> it jams up the ice maker. Yeah, it's not it great. It, it does. does. And every now and then it kicks out like a stray bullet. Yeah. You also can't expect... Uh, Chick Fil A though to be making a bunch of whiskey ice cubes. No, and I don't. It takes True. up a lot of space. I yeah, don't. but use McDonald's ice cubes. Yeah, we're just normal, normal cubes. Just a normal fucking ice cube. Yeah, that, you're you're eliminating about twenty five percent of the beverage when you get those kind of ice cubes in there. That's probably what they're. I mean, they're. That's probably, a great. That's an underrated point. If they would just open on you know? fucking Sundays, they wouldn't have to limit the beverage. Yeah, there's that too. Because when you stack, all right, say you use the McDonald's ice cubes. So we're talking about like those. Inch, one inch by one inch. Yeah, like, like a half moon. square. Yeah, and they come in. Well, there's space between them because yeah. you know there's gaps, so it allows more liquid to get in between them. That's what you're talking about. Packs itself like sandbags, like you're Correct. making a fucking wall. Exactly. So it, there's no room in there. And then you got to shake it to break up the ice, yeah, right? Yeah. And then it's loud. And mm-hmm. I said, out of respect for you guys, I don't want to be shaking my drink the whole day in your face. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And we appreciate that. Hey, sorry, man. I'm just trying to get every last sip out of here, but you got to deal with it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Oh, I really, God. really thought you guys would enjoy the Chick fil A ice cubes nope. the most. Mm. I you, thought everyone enjoyed the Chick-fil-A you, So ones. you enjoy them the most? I like them. Are and, you an ice cruncher? Is see, that why? Uh, no, I'm not an ice okay. cruncher, but I do think if you are one, those are the best ones to do it with. I would agree. If you yeah. just like sitting and chewing ice. Yeah. 
like if I'm in the hospital, I get out of surgery, and you're going to give me some ice those chips. Kind. Right? You bring me those. But universally, I really thought those were the most popular, and I thought all you guys would no. be Well, you know, yeah, chewing your ice is a sign of sexual frustration, Fox. Yeah, <laughs> and I just said, I don't chew <laughs> Which side? Wait, so which side did Zito fall on? <laughs> 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 I like the non ice. ice cubes back there. <laughs> what kind of ice you like the most? Uh, for like eating wise, I like the small ice cubes. But the, mm-hmm. uh, obviously, like if it's like a, a bigger drink, like a whiskey, like I'm gonna want uh-huh. a big ice cube. And I'm not gonna want like the yes. the chips uh, in it. I, when right. I when I order an old fashioned, and I, they bring out normal ass fucking ice cubes, I know I re- I know that that drink is gonna be dog shit. Yep, <laughs> yes. exactly. But if it comes out with a square cube. Mm-hmm. Ice cube, I know it's going to be a good drink. The only benefit to those kind of cubes, like one of my favorite things to do at a restaurant is say, hey, I'll take some pop with that ice when they bring that <laughs> out. <laughs> it's a nice little backhanded compliment. You know, I, uh, that's one of my favorite things. I will say pros and cons. You guys convinced me those ones suck. Yeah. They're uh, terrible. Well, Todd's right. They fucking pack down. and Yeah. So I think that's part of it. And then I don't. they look cheap. They do look that, it like looks chintzy. If you were to bring me like a, a drink in a glass at your restaurant and I can see him, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, you bring me the fucking ghetto <laughs> fucking Well, nice. and that's what like, <laughs> Bill mentioned earlier. Like, I, I'll, I'll accept that from like a gas station because yeah. you're yes. paying 79 cents yep. for the fucking drink, yes. so it's not a big deal. But, I mean, Nick probably paid three twenty nine for that. So, you know, yeah. it's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about you're right. right. You're right. Um... All right, so how are we, where are we at with, with uh, margaritas? Like, are you guys, will you do a frozen margarita? Yeah, yeah. I always go frozen. I see, if it's an option. See, I go on the rocks. I love a frozen margarita, but I'm always afraid to order it because I feel like people are judging me. I just like, don't. I'm no. not a cool margarita. No, person. nobody judges anymore. Nah, I don't really? like margaritas. Okay. I mean, you don't like them at all? No. Margar- I mean, I'll drink them if weakness. everyone else if everyone else is, but I, I will order a, a Jack too 100 tart. times out of 100 it's too times. too tart for me. I too agree. Too too sweet. That and tequila just fucks me up big time. It hits different. It does. Too. Like nothing f- fucks me up more than margarita because I drink it so fast because mm-hmm. it's delicious. It's kind of like su- like sweet tarts or skittles yeah, I don't like when it. I'm soured out, but I can't stop because <laughs> it's like crack. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I get that way with the margarita. And like, in fact, when uh, this weekend at uh, Martin and I went to this lake thing or family reunion slash birthday celebration, the first night there, I drank a fuck ton of margaritas. <laughs> Black the fuck out. Probably at <laughs> seven o'clock at night. I felt so bad. I woke up and we have twin beds in our room. Didn't bother even squeezing them together. I'm like, this is a sleep vacation. We're gonna sleep. <laughs> so uh, I woke up like two thirty in the morning, just fucking wide awake, fucking hungover, and I'm yep. like, oh, oh, holy two thirty hangover is bad. Don't remember going to bed at all. I got all my clothes on, and uh, I woke her up and I go, Barney, get up. She's like, what? And I go, all right. Do I need to apologize? <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to pack up the car and sneak us the fuck out of here before everybody else wakes up? To like, Do I make an asshole out of myself? Because I had no idea. And she's like, no, no, go back to sleep. I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> and nobody even noticed I went to bed, so I must have done one of those Irish goodbyes. Oh, good job, Todd. Oh, yeah. Well done. The worst thing about- like, fuck! Who's, who's choosing the fucking music? <laughs> you know, just being a dick. Margaritas and tequila. Every single time I drink it, two thirty, three o'clock, like fucking clockwork, I'll wake up with my heart just fucking through the fucking yes. through the roof. I don't know why. It's all the sugar and the yeah. Well, yeah, and then you're fucking, then you the wake up mix. and your teeth feel like they're gonna crack and fall apart because mm-hmm. all the fucking sugar in your teeth. I'm not a I'm not a margarita guy either. But uh, I'm so glad but I, I would never judge someone for doing a f- frozen strawberry mark. No, no, no. Uh, no. Got to get bombed on Mars in the summertime. I don't so judge it's all about anybody for drinking anything. Whatever you fucking like to drink to have a good time, fucking drink it. I agree. I, I love the way up. you described how you wake up from a tequila drunk because that is so. I never thought about it until you said that. But like, there's some hangovers you get off different kinds of alcohol where there's you know. The like wine, like uh, I just got to drag, peel myself off the fucking blankets. <laughs> but for some reason, when you come off like a tequila blackout, it's like somebody is three inches from your face is like, get off! <laughs> get off! <laughs> Look, that's how you wake up every uh, time. <laughs> I'm so glad you made So it. perfect. Yes. It's uh. so perfect. <laughs> and Diggs, you said it. Uh, we're well past the point of judging someone for what they yeah. drink. I will, however, judge someone for how they drink their drink. Like, we used to give Fox a hard time because mm. he would drink all of his mixed drinks out of the tiny little yeah, stirring yeah, straw yeah. that they like give you. Suck on a tiny sponge. I'm yeah. glad yes. you guys did that, too. I actually really needed to learn that one. You did. You and did I took that. that back to Michigan to my friends at home because they would do it, too, and had no idea. And now none of them use straws either. I mean, we, me personally, <laughs> probably, I 
probably used to do that. Um, and then you watch Crazy Stupid Love, and Gosling teaches you everything you need to, yes. to learn oh. about fucking drinking. I love that movie too. Yeah, Never great tried one. one. Great one. Yeah, I mean Michael Scott used to drink like that too. Yeah, it's, I mean <laughs> it happens until you until someone wiser um, and with more knowledge changes your life forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was, uh, a, yeah, I was a young child when I moved here yeah. first. You, you were. were. You were you fresh are, You have come a long way. You've matured a lot. He used to have like five of those mini straws in his drink. <laughs> 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 I can drink it faster this way. <laughs> <laughs> I get more fucked up like this. <sighs> Here's another debate going on right now because today, actually we're recording Tuesday because not tomorrow, but today while we're recording, it's actually National Chicken Wing Day. Sellers, um, the bone in versus boneless wars waging right now on bone Twitter. In. Is it really even a war? Is no, there no, any no. question at all which is better? No, I don't think so. No, I think we're all on the same page, right? Yeah, yeah. you yeah. gotta go bone in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bone bones in. all day. I know. Boneless is not a chicken wing. It's a nugget. Yep. It's a nugget. Yep. I I agree. I totally agree with this because I I do have friends though that are guys. Cause usually I think that's a guy versus girl thing. I agree. You know, and I think that's why they eventually came out with yeah, boneless, yeah. but. Or our kids, definitely. Mm -hmm. But I've seen grown men that I'm friends with order boneless wings. See, and to I me, this is like the drink thing. I don't think yeah. it's, you know, I think boneless, that's fine. If nope. you want them, here. go for it. I will not judge you, sure. but I just think yeah. traditional are better. I think I too. boneless is starting to die with, like, the, the death of Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> like, that was super hot, like, 10 years Agreed. ago or so. Like, you know, it was popping up in, like, every college town and everything. Yes. And then people started to realize, like, oh, wow, the service sucks. The food sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's expensive as shit. So, like, as that's gotten less popular, I think boneless wings have, too. There is something to be said I for it. They're popcorn chicken is what it is. Yeah. It, well, not wow. even because pop popcorn chicken is much better. I was going to say, I love so popcorn chicken. I love oh, yeah, those yeah, in but the I'm car, saying, like, drive through on a long trip. Mm -hmm. What it's shaped like in... I would I would put boneless wings in a category with popcorn chicken than I would yeah. 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 wings wings. Yeah, but I would agree. The thing with wings is are, they are the probably the most unattractive food to eat. So like, if you're on a date or something and me. you have to have that chicken fix, <laughs> that's true. you got to go boneless. But That's the bone in wings just taste so much better. So it's more much authentic. Better. It just it's unbeatable. I don't yeah. know. It's a little bit more you're, work, of course, but god damn. Your it's date better. gets uh, the bone in wings and cheats them the right way. Ain't nothing more sexy than that. Yeah. Fucking licking that sauce <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think there was a debate there at all. And it's e they're easy. The boneless are easy to dry out. When yeah. you cook them, they nine oh, times yeah. out of ten yep. they come back real dry. Mm -hmm. That's why you go to a, a nice steakhouse. You mm -hmm. get. If they have the bone in, like if they have a bone in fillet option, you get mm. you always get oh, the like bone every in. Time. like a porterhouse oh. or something, yeah. Every single fucking time. Hey Diggs, you ever watch like a porno with like wings, like like a couple eating wings or something? Don't worry about it, dude. <laughs> have you seen that? <laughs> Don't worry about it, dude. Is it's that all, a genre? It's fucking yeah, all over. Porn. Is on Diggs. It's fucking all over the sheets. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it, dude. Uh, don't you have a wing bit? Tom? Huh? Don't you have a wing bit? Me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. About my beard? <laughs> yeah. Asian, Asian oh, Asian my favorite joke to whip out every now and then. You can tell, like, if I'm really having a good time on stage, like, that joke will come out. Because I only, <laughs> only pull it out on audiences I really, really love. Oh, so you, like, save jokes for audiences that you like. I do. I do. Because I'm like, I feel like this is a special treat for you guys. And plus, it takes a really, really fun crowd to really appreciate it and mm. laugh, really. Because I've said it before, and... People were like, "Really? What?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Come on, dummies!" <laughs> but uh, I saw this other story. Speaking of couples, relationships, whatever. That uh, and this really bothered me. Was uh, this couple was claiming online that, um, and, and they felt strongly enough about it, and that they were special enough. There needed to be an article online <laughs> about it. But neither one of them has a preference to a side of bed. So neither one claims a particular side of the bed. Each night they go to bed, it's just random, and they never know which side the other's going to end up That's on. Chaos. That's chaos. That is complete <laughs> chaos. Yeah. Get Thank the fuck out of here. What the fuck are you doing? That's, That's the what dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's what keeps the world going in the right direction, I feel like. Like, when you, like, that's a slippery slope. Once you start doing that, then there's, you know, all kinds of things go wrong. Nick, Foxy. What's up? Do you guys sleep in the middle of your bed? No. Absolutely no. not. Okay, right so I couldn't remember because I've now had a girlfriend for. Oh, her. good for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was thinking about it the other day because she's uh, now traveling a lot for work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
so I, but I still stay on my fucking side Me when too. she's out of town. Without a doubt, you and have I, to. And I had like a I was high, but I had like a 20 minute panic attack. I couldn't remember if I used to sleep in the middle of the bed or not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually just got a brand new king size mattress and I claimed the right side immediately and yeah. I haven't even slept on that left side yet. Okay, good. Yeah. But you will eventually. You're going to wear in a groove on that side though cuz I also have a king. True. And you're going to eventually at one point roll over and be like, "Oh my god." It's really nice over here. I've thought about that actually. I have and then you're going to work on that side too. Mine always would be I also all I always used to sleep on the side of the bed if it was up against the wall, up against the wall. Ooh, oh, yeah. a weirdo that. Like that. I, just, no, I like that. I just too. put myself up against the wall. I feel but if it's way. in the middle of the room, I don't have a preference. I just have to sleep on the side closest to the door in case an intruder comes in. And I, is, I die first. <laughs> that is also what I do. <laughs> That's very did, valiant did, of you. Did these it wasn't my decision. Fucking <laughs> numbnuts, did these numbnuts not have like a goddamn nightstand with their shit yeah, in it? Yeah, exactly. Like, what that's the hell? Like, great point. I have my nightstand that has yes. all my shit Correct, in same. it. Like, mm -hmm. And she has hers that has all her shit in it. Yeah. So My charger, my yeah. charger, pen, exactly. my everything. Right. I have three spitters. <laughs> yep. There. Yep, my, exactly. Yeah, my little bottle of water. <laughs> no, these people are assholes. I Wait, know. So you don't undo the side of the bed? Like, you just do on, undo your side? Huh? Like, do you undo the whole bed? What is, what is he saying? Do you like, undo, undo the whole it. bed? <laughs> <laughs> do you undo the whole bed? I think he's talking about if the bed is made. Do oh, you, Jesus like, Christ. The, <laughs> 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 the bed's not made, see? The bed's not made. Never? Uh, you the lady? I mean, ours, ours she does. Made. So, I don't, as, as a guy, I obviously don't respect or believe in the top sheet. Right. No, 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 yeah. So I always sleep on top of it, and she'll get under that one. Um, but when she's out of town, I mean, the covers are all over the place. I don't even think we have a top sheet anymore. I think we Mar don't. I think Marnie gave I up used on to, the top I used sheet. to try to hide it on the side of the bed. <coughs> Smart. Yeah. Um, <laughs> got found though, all the time. <laughs> Plus, she wakes up and leaves before you. So Correct. it would fall on you to make it in the morning. And it does least. not happen. Yeah. Fuck that. I actually, the, um, the dog, uh, so the girlfriend went out of town. She was in Vegas from Thursday till Monday. <coughs> and the dog pissed on the bed on fucking Thursday. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. What'd you do? Luckily, quick enough, I got it. So the duvet cover was fucking was wet, but it didn't get to like the actual, uh, what's it called? Blanket yeah, uh -huh. under, that you cover it with. Um, so I just, I slept with that. And then like Monday, an hour before she got back, I washed the duvet cover and then put it back on. Doesn't that fall under your new roommate's responsibilities? <laughs> nope. Nope. My room. My room. I have to do that okay. shit, unfortunately. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I just thought that was the craziest thing in the world because that's a big deal. It is crazy. Me. I've always had one particular side of the bed. I've been able to hang on to it for all these years. Here's so the craziest thing in the world. I saw of, this story. This will be an interesting stat. Oh, well, yeah. go ahead. Before we move on. Go ahead. Which side of the bed are you on? So if you're on your back, I am on the right side okay. of the uh, bed. I didn't know right if like side. all men, because I'm on the left side. You're I on the left I'm side? I'm on yeah, the yeah. left side as well. See, are you closest to the door, though? No. Okay, so we're I'm closest to the door. You guys are better. You guys are more... You're better guys than me. Like you're going to put yourself <laughs> between the intruder and the lady. Yeah. Also, don't have nearly as bad of a glare on the TV on my side. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what was yours? Uh, so, craziest thing in the world, we just saw this. Uh, so, this happened in 2013. It was a federal raid on body brokers, which is apparently a business where people sell donated bodies for research. Okay. Okay. We were talk we've talked about Benjamin Franklin and the cadavers and all that right. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along that vein. Well, new information now is being released from the raid and uh, an FBI agent was actually willing to talk about what he saw there and he described it as uh, various unsettling scenes including infected heads, a bucket of heads, arms and legs <laughs> and a cooler filled with male genitals. Oh, nice. Really? They also accidentally, he says, accidentally discovered a macabre wall hanging of a woman's head sewn onto a man's torso in a Frankenstein-like manner. What the fuck? They found 1,700 human body parts, what? filling 142 bags, and it weighed 10 tons. Jesus This is at a place where you donate your body to yeah, science? Yeah, so they take it and claim it's for, like, medical research, but, I mean... Uh, like, uh, bowling with heads over yeah. there? <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, a bad. What a bunch of sickos! What the fuck, man? Can you imagine what that fucking place smells like? Uh, oh, can't formaldehyde. Even imagine. 
Yeah, the, probably formaldehyde. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they said <laughs> at least 21 of the bodies found were donated to the U.S. Army for blast experiments, which is kind of cool. What do you mean? That's that a thing? Pretty, that is pretty Like sweet. how far body, or no, how close the body can be before they yeah. die. Yeah. yeah. They use it like That's a, pretty cool, Like actually. a pig's carcass, you know, it just fucking explodes. Yeah. A little, little ballistic test. That's pretty cool. I mean, I knew that they would use pigs for that mm-hmm. because they're the closest match to our body yeah, composition. Absolutely. But I did not know they were using real fucking bodies. That's cool as shit. So, like, you, I, this is how I envision it. You put a bomb in the middle, and then uh-huh. you do just do rings, like, every fucking yeah, five distances. yards outside, and then see who dies. Yeah. Stand them up. You probably put a stake in the ground. Put it up their ass. Ass first. Yep. You just put them on the stake so they're still standing up <laughs> in the upright position. That's pretty fucking cool. See how much damage is done to each body every five yards out? Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's amazing. That's got to be the most amazing. traumatic thing in the world, though, to go into this place and just see a bucket of dicks sitting there. Where <laughs> <laughs> no. do you think they get the molds from? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big industry. Now I want to write a s- sitcom where it's just like it doesn't even important to the plot. It just happens to be the guy's job. Is he's the one that sets out the bodies for the blast experiments. <laughs> like it just happens to be his job. It's not important to the movie at you all. You know there was one guy too, one agent that walked in there and picked up that bucket and was like, "Hey Tony, I found your Christmas present." <laughs> just, I mean, you're trying to get some work done Gary. and dick just slaps on your back. <laughs> oh motherfucker. <laughs> Quit throwing dicks. I assume like a cut off dick, like I assume they shrivel up probably. And oh no. Probably like no? Oh no. I bet they don't. What do you mean, Z? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I figured it was like the umbilical cord where you cut it and it dies. I think all the all the blood goes to it, right? And yeah. it just stays big. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of boners. It's trapped in, in there. The blood's <laughs> trapped. Mm-hmm. Well, so they probably what, have they like fucking cut off and then cauterize the fucking. <laughs> they might. They probably have like a, a boner bucket and then just like <laughs> one that's like all the shriveled up. Oh, uh, those are the flaccids. Put them in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so, Z, Z, you're thinking if a dick gets cut off, wow, hard, it stays hard. Yeah, because like object- whoever's using it, cut it, it, it just makes it like keeps the blood in. So, mm-hmm. okay, so an object, at, an yeah. object at hard stays at hard. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I don't know, because your body, rigor mortis, <laughs> sets in after a certain amount of time. It's Newton's 13th law. law. <laughs> <laughs> boner yeah. So a body goes limp after a certain period of time. It yeah. goes to rigor mortis, it gets stiff as a board, uh, and then it goes limp again. Oh, like I hope I die after. and my boner just stays out the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone gets in their leg, I just fucking, get in my you just dick. <laughs> hang the fucking Cuban flag from yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Perez, we're going to have to uh, get a different coffin. This is never <laughs> We're going to custom make his coffin. His coffin has an exhaust pipe on it. Has a pipe dome. On it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they lower the flag to half mast on his birthday. <laughs> <sighs> I love it. I love uh, it. Reminds me of Weekend of Bernie. <laughs> oh, such a great, great movie. movie, dude. Somebody said they're making uh, another one. Yeah, I think they are rebooting are they? it. I wonder who's going to play in it. Who knows? Fuck they don't yeah. make it's any fucking suck. new movies anymore. No, they're everyone's out of I ideas. Don't get it. I don't know. The weekend of Bernie's is good. He had like uh, it's like oh you just put sunglasses on him and it's like he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you have MVMT movement. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, they're like, oh, yeah. They're yeah. gonna be like not only is that guy still alive, he has great taste in sunglasses, and I bet he paid a fortune for him. They're gonna say the guy must also be rich because look at those sunglasses. Wrong. Movement sunglasses are affordable. You shouldn't have to choose between overpriced designer sunglasses and cheap shades that won't last you this summer. That's why we'll never wear anything other than movement sunglasses. Mm-hmm. You guys have heard us talk about movement, disrupting the watch industry, all that good stuff. But did you know they're also cutting edge in the sunglass game? Oh, yeah. I do heard that. I yeah. know. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're constructed with durable acetate and lightweight materials for that perfect, reliable fit. If you don't have to choose between style and function, it's the best of both worlds. That's what they're giving you here. They're like, hey, there's two worlds in sunglasses. There's affordable and not affordable. There and you usually, go. And traditionally, the not affordable were like the better looking sunglasses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now it's a good thing about like, I'm so glad. Like I always said, man, I used to tell my mom and dad this when I was a kid. I was like, I just hope I live long enough. The good-looking sunglasses become affordable for the common person. Yeah, exactly. Amen. Because I would see all these rich people in movies and stuff, and I'm like, I'll never get to wear a pair of those sunglasses. And now I can. And I wear the black Revelers. Ooh. Oh, they're the best. They're, they're the best. The perfect combo of classic and sharp, and I can wear them with just about anything. I'm going to tell you this. 
Movement sunglasses start at sixty dollars. What? That's what we're talking about affordable. No pair prices over ninety five dollars. So when you get on there, you already know your range. So you're guaranteed to find a style you love with quality that doesn't break the bank. They've sold over two and a half million products across more than 160 countries. And there's a reason why. And there's a reason why they're always expanding. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to movement. That's MVMT.com slash Heartland. That's why movement keeps growing. Check out their expanding collection right now. Go to MVMT.com slash Heartland. Join the movement. They're the best sunglasses. I'll tell you what. When I pass away, I'm going to donate my body to one of these body brokers. I'm going to say, you can do whatever you want with it. Just keep the movement sunglasses on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just weekend at Bernie's me. Make me look awesome whenever you're cutting me apart. Just fill you fill from out of the hide so you don't rot in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> sorry, I was, I was distracted during the ad read, and uh-huh. I apologize. No, it's no, right. no, I apologize. This, okay. is a, this is a professional show. Up? But, like, my phone started blowing up. Uh-huh. Uh, John Gruden was asked about the quarterback battle. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. And he said, this Nathan Peterman is growing on me. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking man is, the man is back. I just want to imagine. I, I'm fucking giddy. Mm-hmm. I can't wait for him on Hard Knocks. Next Sunday. Oh, Let's go. Oh, it does start. The, yeah. Wait, August 5th? Oh, it's on the Sunday, not a Tuesday? It's on Tuesday, right? Yeah. August, August 5th. <laughs> August 5th. I was like, oh, they're fucking changing it up this year on us. I can't wait, dude. Uh, August this 6th. Week from a day, yeah. He is a fucking cockroach. He's never going to die. He's the best. I can't wait for it. I can't wait until Derek Carr gets hurt and fucking Antonio Brown has to deal with Nathan Peterman for <laughs> oh, several, 12 games. That'd be sweet revenge for you, huh? That'd be the best. <laughs> I can't wait. Go ahead. What were we talking about? Glasses? Sunglasses? Sunglasses? Oh, oh Z. Oh, there it is. Sorry, it's early for you guys, dude. That it's Hard Knocks is amazing. Amazing, like it is so well done. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because there was nothing like I think that's the one thing about the NFL is the teams don't really let you get any kind of inside mm-hmm. shit anymore. Mm-mm. Like I'm starting to see it on social media a little bit more now because I think people are catching on how important it is to relate to the players. But I don't know why they've held that so long. Like, we just don't want you to know anything about it. Because it's the most what competitive kind of sport in the team. world, and no one wanted to reveal any edge or any bit of information I whatsoever. Guess, yeah, I guess you're scared to death of cameras at all times, probably. Like, for filming-wise, what do you think is better, Last Chance You or Hard Knocks? Uh, Hard Knocks has got a lot more money behind it. Yeah, yeah I think... It, hmm. Last so chance, I, you I like their like they do a really good job. Last chance, you sweet because like they're in dorms and shit, so they can follow the players and yeah. like you know everywhere. Like they they are not really doing that necessarily with with hard knocks, but yeah, I feel like the like, last chance you the storytelling's better even visually because like you said, you get that one camera follow thing mm-hmm. through the you know through the to class or whatever. But man, hard knocks is fucking yeah. high production, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's also, fucking... hard knocks turns it around in a week. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. true. Yeah. Like, that's unheard of. Last like, chance is a year, essentially. Yeah, it yeah. takes yeah. Like eight months to produce it, pretty well, much. Well, they pretty oh, much shit. took the idea of doing an inside, because everyone looked at Hard Knocks and was like, this this crush. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everyone fucking loves this. So they just found some some niche Juco thing where they were like, oh, well, this would be really fucking cool if we actually mm-hmm. had some time to do this, too. <clears throat> also, with, like, Hard Knocks, though, like, we... Gruden's worked for either ESPN or he's been like no one's ever seen him uncensored before. Oh, I can't oh, wait. Oh yeah, like that. It's gonna be unreal. I can't fucking wait. Do you think you think he'll let it let it fly? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, the, those guys. I mean, he'll play it up probably. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> he knows I, what he that gets camera it. Is. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna be out there doing sketches, <laughs> 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 writing them the day before. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna come out dressed as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, he already had that one uh, that one clip where he was talking, you know, like talk. Everyone's talking about how like it's a dream to play in the NFL, and he's like, "I'm not talking about dreams, man. I'm in. I'm in the nightmares. You know, it's just like the. Uh, it's gonna be yeah, great. It's, the it's back. Everything's back. Isn't there a the football best. game this week? Oh yeah. What day is that? Thursday? Hall of Fame game. Yeah. Nice. I don't know what day it is. It Thursday. Uh, I just knows? I just know this was the first week. Uh, until the Super Bowl that we're going to have football every week. Oh, oh boy. It's going to be good. We're Can't back. wait. I mean, we're back. We're coming. Yeah. Here we are. All the way. Starting the Industrial Revolution, coming out of the Dark Ages. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here's another thing that made me laugh. was uh, You know how sometimes like, things get famous on the internet and it changes? Like, like there's, uh, there's this place in Spain that got famous because of just Instagram models would always go there and shoot themselves. It's a, like a little... It's a little tourist spot now. It's like um, there's a little lake, and uh, it's like this beautiful turquoise mm-hmm. color. Mm-hmm. 
for whatever reason. So it looks so good in all these Instagram models' photos. People started like flocking there and uh, they like to swim in it and stuff and take photos of themselves there. And they all got fucking sick because yep. it turns out it's a uh, really pretty turquoise color because of the uh, chemical contamination <laughs> <there>. <laughs> from a toxic dump that uh-huh. we used to be connected to. So they're all getting sick as fuck. Uh, I just thought it was hilarious. I did see that. They call it, it Galatian it, Chernobyl. It, 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 <laughs> it is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, the locals like, get out! Get out! <laughs> well, fucking the assholes were going to Chernobyl, actually, as well, to take pictures now, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you knew that was going to happen. As soon yeah, as that show sure. kind of like glorified that place, people were going to flock there. Oh, I feel like that wasn't the, the purpose ready. of the show. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I don't think so. But that's the that's the fucking power of that. By the shit, way, it's man. up for a lot of a lot of Emmys. It is. Oh, and uh, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention uh, Game of Thrones most Emmy nominations of all time. Oh, but, the but last it was a shitty season, though. So yeah, bad. it sucked though. So <laughs> <laughs> that's beside the point, though. That's beside the point. <laughs> That'll never be equal. I don't think. What's that? The Game of Thrones reign. Maybe you never know. <laughs> there will never be another TV production that large right. scale. Yeah, for sure. I don't think so. Well, let's hope that you're both wrong. I, yeah, I, I hope. I, well, I guess the, they got the the prequel series coming too. So. True. <gasps> but I'm uh, about Baywatch. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> there will never be another Hasselhoff. Yeah. <laughs> Ever. But no, Foxy, you said it earlier, like with another uh, walking guy. Someone help me out there. Weekend at Bernie's. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't want to be average. Mm. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no fucking new shit. But I think TV shows there are, actually. Yeah, I'd, I'd give you yeah. that. For sure. There's uh, more new TV shows than there are mm-hmm. movies. But every movie Probably is a, re- a remake right now. Like Correct. Every single one. I, yeah, yeah, I totally... I totally agree. Also, I watched Remember the Titans this weekend. I watched it yesterday. It's they don't it. make sports movies like that anymore. No. no. They, remember this run? They had, you had Remember the Titans. You had Miracle. You Space had Coach Jam. Carter. Space Jam was a little older, but you had like a lot of these <laughs> odd, like Jam. Friday Night Lights. You had so yep. many good sports movies. They don't. Why don't they make any of I, them? Like don't that? come back. It w- goes through fucking cycles. I will say this. I think that is the most challenging genre mm-hmm. to make a really good movie in, is because for one. Not everybody's into sports, right? Mm-hmm. So you've got to somehow make that movie so good that a person who doesn't give a shit about football still loves the movie. Mm-hmm. Like The Blind Side right. or yeah. whatever. And I'm saying Big that was the Mike. best movie ever. But, they <laughs> 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 but you hear, like, um, young girls, like, still, like, Friday Night Lights has lasted a long time. Right. And they attached themselves to that movie just because of the characters. Well, no, I the think movie, the, the TV show that. probably yeah, helped with yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. But I think the biggest thing is it just that shit's just not as profitable as doing, like, a superhero Correct. movie. It's I mean, not, it's all yeah. about the bottom line anymore, and it's just yeah. like, all right, well, we can either make, like, 80 million bucks from Remember the Titans, or we can make, like, a fucking billion on one of these uh, superhero Every, franchises. Yeah. Everything's going to be franchised back uh, Dennis Quaid. That's oh, all we need. Oh, yeah. Dude, Dennis Quaid. Is the just man. any sports movie. Dennis Quaid just kills it. Dude, he was um, in... Um, any Given Sunday. Any Given Sunday. Yeah, Cap, Cap Rooney. Cap Rooney. It was great. Stud. Yep. He also played in one... Where, the Rookie. Uh, the, the, mm-hmm. Yeah, The, the Rookie. Pit, the and the, the college football where he played The Ghost or whatever. John Goodman was in it. It's an older movie, but it's really good. Did you ever see The Program? He played yes. a Oh, absolute great classic. Joe movie. Kane. Great football movie. Really? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen it's it. Old. Oh, it's old. No, no. It's incredible. Yeah, I did. It's uh, like Florida yeah. State, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. J- yeah. James Conn's the head coach. That's where the uh, one guy had to get off his steroids. Yeah, yep. yep. He got <laughs> the, sn- the blood bubbles out of his nose yep. at the end. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. Uh, Joe Kane, the quarterback, uh-huh. used to just fucking get boozed up and then, like ride, <laughs> ride his motorcycle <laughs> through the mountains. Great movie. Great fucking movie. You're what right, happened Foxy. to the guy that played that quarterback? You know, he disappeared. Uh, he was on One Tree Hill. Oh. <laughs> he, had a ni- he had a nice little pop up on there. I wouldn't watch One Tree Hill because I felt like I was cheating on the OC. Well, <laughs> at, let's not even in the same ballpark. Let's just, let's just get me. that out of the way Trust right me. now. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, speaking of movies, I got um, movie based fact or fiction. Ooh, can't wait. Let's do, let's do it. it. All right. Why the fuck you lying? Yeah. Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. You don't know if I'm lying or not. It could be telling the truth. That's why it's called fact or fiction, idiot. <laughs> all right. We're all, we've all been talking about this in the office. We're all very, very, very excited to see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yes. So this fact or fiction segment is dedicated to Brad Pitt. Win. One, all right, you ready? Yeah, I'm going to win. One of Brad Pitt's earlier roles that made us all fall in love with him was as Detective Mills in the movie Seven, 
with Morgan Freeman and Kevin Spacey. But Brad wasn't originally cast for that role. It was originally written for Denzel Washington and was going to be more of a cop action movie. But he decided to turn it down last minute, a decision he regrets to this day, and the writers decide to make it more of the movie that we end up seeing as a thriller. Is this piece of historical Hollywood information fact or fiction? We'll go around the room. We'll finish with Ty, in case he already knows. I want him to influence. Where do you want to start? Diggs. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say fiction because I don't think they would put Denzel with Morgan Freeman. Why not? Why not? They just don't work well together. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. Uh -huh. But I will say it's because it was, what, early 90s? 95. Yeah, okay. And they weren't that progressive yet. So they weren't going to go out on a limb and cast two black actors in that type of role. Way to okay. say it better than I did. <laughs> 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 and plus, Brad Pitt was fucking super hot in the 90s. It okay. was like, you know, it was, it was his era. So okay. Super hot. Fiction. Okay, two fictions. Zito? I'm going to go fact. Fact? Yes. Okay. For any reason? Or just I'm not racist. Screen? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bailey, what do you think? Yell it out loud. Fiction. Fiction. Okay, Wait, Evan. No. I also think it's fiction. I think Denzel has too much pride to admit that uh, he regrets not taking a role. Oh, oh. Ooh, boy. That's an interesting mm -hmm. that's perspective. Good, that's there. good. Uh, I'm going to go fiction as well. I'm not positive, but I've read the fucking trivia on IMDb for seven many mm -hmm. a times, and I, I don't think I've ever seen that in there. Okay. And that oh. would definitely be in there. Also, I think... David Fincher, not really an action guy. Okay. All right. Fair all all fair, good reasons. Fair point. The director. All fair point, reasons. yeah. All right. So everybody was fiction except Zito, who's fact. This piece of Hollywood trivia is indeed fact. Let's go. Complete and utter fact. Good job, Zito. Suck it, you, you were the piece only of one. shits. <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be more of a, of a cop action movie, like a buddy cop action movie. And they did end up going the, the thriller route. Thank God they did. We, I mean, it would have never survived just another buddy cop movie or whatever. But, um, and here's a side note. It's, uh, that wasn't the only role that they had to settle for a different actor that was first pursued. Al Pacino was originally offered Morgan Freeman's role as that Detective Somerset. There it is. That makes so sense. So that could have been why that makes sense. it was that Denzel makes, before. That makes sense, though. Um, but then <laughs> after they decided to go the more sinister, uh, sinister like serial killer direction, they actually then offered it to Val Kilmer. Which role? To take the role of the serial killer. Oh, okay. Would have been pretty good, I think. I think yeah. he would have been good. He was good back in the day. He was about as then. hot as anyone then yeah, as yeah. well. And he can get real creepy if he yeah. needs to. Um, and then, get this, uh, Kevin Spacey wasn't the next choice after that. It was actually Ned Beatty. Ooh. Who, do you guys yeah. even know who Ned Beatty is? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking dad and Rudy for all you layman. Yeah. <laughs> Rudy's dad or the guy who got raped by the hillbillies in Deliverance. Mm. That as well. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. As it was well. the roles he's most famous for, those two. <laughs> Rudy's dad and the guy that got sodomized um, by hillbillies. Um, yeah. So, and then Christina Applegate was originally offered the role that went to Gwyneth Paltrow. Gotcha. It's all around. I just think it's amazing how. Things end up, mm -hmm. you know. That, what I mean, like, look at the stars that almost get cast. The casting stuff is like one of the most interesting things to be. read about for for any movie. It's awesome because they almost never get who their initial choice is. Yeah, like I, very rarely. I think if I like was to work in movies and I wasn't on screen, if it was something behind the screen and I couldn't be like the director, I definitely want to be a casting director. Yeah, that'd I feel be like an it's awesome got to be job. interesting as fuck, mm -hmm. especially like. I mean, not for shitty movies, but for good movies where you got to really like, you because casting makes or breaks it. I think. Yeah, without a doubt. That was like uh, Will Smith was originally in mind for Django. Yes. Yeah. Yep. He Great was. decision not to use him. Wow. <laughs> I would have. I gotta agree. Uh, J.B. Fox yeah, crushed it. it. Different animals. Awesome. Yeah. And the uh, the fucking egos there. Tarantino and and Will Smith would not have Ugh. gotten along. No. Oh, yeah. At all. Yeah. Also, shout out Brad Pitt. They're saying he uh, is probably going to get nominated for an Oscar for yeah. one time. Go. Yeah, they they said Leo was the main, but Brad stole the show. Oh, I, I, I knew that was going to happen. By the way, Brad Pitt is awesome. I don't know if you guys like the original World War Z, but World War Z Two is in development. Finally, World War Z yeah. loved World War Z. Yeah. It's scarier <laughs> to like me that the zombies can move Fast. quickly. Yeah. I think Same I, way with I Am Legend. I think Ad Astra is going to be good too. 
Have you seen the that? Looks awesome. That, that actually looks Pitt. awesome. What, what are we talking about? Brad Pitt. Space, but it's kind of got a uh, what's it called feel to it. Oh, uh, Interstellar a yes. little bit. Yeah, yeah. his dad his, was an astronaut. Yeah, Tommy Lee Jones is his dad. Yes. And he like gets lost in space, and he's like oh, tries to go find. But then him. they like find a transmission from him, so he has to go find yeah. him. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Mm-hmm. Tommy Lee's he's a top ten, I think. He's good. Tommy Lee Jones is a top ten for me. I just, I just know. Well, if Tommy Lee's in, it's gonna be good. Yeah, you know, that's fair. I don't remember finding that movie ever. That, I mean, since maybe when he was younger. Since he was Two Face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, shit. Have you ever seen that movie where he? Uh, oh damn it! He is. I think it's his daughter. Is a strange daughter. It's a wild. It's a western, and then she ends up finding him because, uh, like, her husband gets killed or something, and she wants to go track down the guys that did it. Mm-hmm think and he like he's he was raised by indians he's like an indian guy but he's not an indian i don't know or whatever native american yeah yeah uh it is a good ass movie i can't remember the fucking name of it, but if you ever come across <laughs> it and he's got like little <laughs> braids like indian braids in his like hair watch it recently on here yeah it's it's a gem i didn't even know it existed i actually found it the missing is a great movie yeah great movie hmm. okay blanchett <laughs> that and the hunted with oh, him and Benicio. Benicio. Oh, True. Great old movie. Fucking Hart and X Plane when he's telling them how to kill people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I've have, like, seen that movie knife a fighting ton scenes. of times. I didn't know what it was called. That, it's almost like a modern day Rambo. Yeah. It really is. Like the first time, I think it was the first time I seen like that knife fighting stuff in a yeah. movie. I was like, oh my God, what is this? <laughs> it's and like then, Israeli, whatever, martial arts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's awesome. Krav Maga. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Whoa. Him throwing knives in the woods from like 100 yards <laughs> away and like hitting guys right in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good fucking sound, Todd. I feel like it's a sound you make when a yeah, it is. I know. I'm saying it was perfect. Throat. Then your windpipe. <laughs> <laughs> then there's no more sound. Um, yeah, I think we about covered it. There's um, listener. They're changing the Halloween. Somebody. They're trying to change the date the Halloween falls on. I saw what? that too. What do you mean? And I'm like, how do you like? That's a mm. why. Like October 31st has been our thing for a very long time. Right. Like, was there a reasoning of, behind it? Yeah, it's um, like basically the all the people that profit from Halloween. I've started the petition like party the city. costume. Yeah, costume people, candy people, um, all want it to be moved to the last Saturday of October <sighs> so it can be like a day long celebration instead of like two hours before it gets dark in the evening I, during a. I don't uh, hate that. School night. See, but those fuckers shouldn't have any say because they're open three months out of the year, and then they close up shop for Correct. the rest of the. You know what I mean? Like yeah. those those Halloween stores that are in malls. Like I think someone tweeted it right. Like it's in uh, near like Heinz Field. Mm-hmm. They have like a big oh, yeah. like That's Halloween cool. blowout. You know, it's over like, PNC Park. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> That's the great uh, argument because in like the haunted houses start like a month and a half out. Yeah. So everybody yeah, goes see, I, there. I think that's short sighted because people kind of celebrate it. Some people celebrate like two weekends because yeah, if correct. it falls in the middle of the week, some people have parties the beginning weekend, some people mm-hmm. have parties the weekend mm-hmm. at the end of the week. So right. I would argue it's also probably safer for trick or treating to do it during the week. Yeah, you don't have as many fucking weirdos out there Christ. trying to. You know what I mean? You do it on a Tuesday night from five to seven. You don't really have to worry. I was about make kids drunks getting, on the road. I was yeah, saying exactly. everyone's out drinking all fucking day, right? Yeah. Running over kids. And I, I don't want kids to come to the house on Saturday. No, you know what I mean. Yeah. No, I won't come. There would the week, be a lot. No, more yeah, I mean I'll turn the lights out during the week yeah. as well. But, <laughs> 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 but uh, Snickers, they got Snickers behind it. Snickers or Mars Incorporated. They uh, said that they would donate. They're not going to s- sell more candy if it's on Saturday. I don't know that it matters either, because this shit, like, you shop, I candy shop for myself just because all the Halloween candy's out for probably a month. Mm-hmm. You know it's, what I mean? I can't imagine if I the also... The candy was, shopping's not going to change for me based on what day of the week it is. No, you get it the day after Halloween anyway when it's fucking 50% yeah. mm-hmm. off. Yeah. The best. That's the best. Stock up till Christmas. Mm-hmm. But they said they would give out a million dollars worth of Snickers to America. What? I'm like, oh, big deal. It's like one Snicker <laughs> each for a million people. <laughs> big fucking deal. Um, Are we talking king size or fun size? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, that's I the. Know. So I don't know if they'll get that done or not. I feel like we've already got that established. We're not changing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to remember October. Well, because then you got to change. There's a fucking. We had off the day after Halloween for school because really? I went to a Catholic wow, school because I'm religious. Um, no, you, for college. For college, we got the day after Halloween off. Really? really? It's a day. Huh. All Saints Day? I don't remember. think it might be. Huh. Holiday the day 
after. And it was awesome. So. Yeah, I mean, it's All Saints Day. That's what it is. Okay. But. Like, why would colleges do that? <laughs> <laughs> it must be like, they must just say, oh, it's that's a Catholic one of those college. Pro- professors. Duquesne is a Catholic school. What's, what's Catholicism got to do with Halloween? It's the Devil's Night. Well, yeah, and then the next day is All Saints Day. <laughs> So really it was always awesome things. for us because yeah, class sense. was canceled always the day after Halloween. Right. So you were not able to go get fucked up. Not like so All Saints anyways, Day is a, just a, a strictly a Catholic thing. I thought it was a Hispanic thing. Like it, no fucking clue, dude. Well, that's you're, you're that's Dia de los Dia, Muertos. Yeah, exactly. The day uh, of the dead. I mean, I went over. to the school. It doesn't mean I ever stepped well, in that. The- Yes, because the second um, Boondock Saints was All Saints Day. Bingo. Yeah. Yep. So it was Irish Catholic. Okay. There we go. That all makes sense. <laughs> 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 so uh, technically, it's all yeah. All Hollows Day, aka All Saints Day. Yeah. Okay. Wow. All Hollows mm-hmm. Day. All Hollows Eve. Hollow Mess. Mm. November first. Yeah. Huh. Sounds about right. It's amazing that uh, you can't fuck that up. <laughs> I th- I it's incredible amount religion? of money is made off Halloween. Incredible. So they're getting very selfish. They're incredible yes. amount of money. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like every, it's their prime day. Oh God! When you can afford to rent out an old Radio Shack, like and lease it year round, for to sell fucking costumes <laughs> out of it, like uh, you sell a shit ton of costumes during true. the season. My uh, mother deals uh, in retail, retail spacing, retail leasing, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They have a fireworks store that does so well, just like in the summer months that it stays open. That. They stays open twenty four or twelve months a year. Yeah, I used to know Jeez. a girl. She she works like that's her career is in fireworks, and that that like place she works like, or did work, um, employed like twenty people, that full time jobs. Like it was a huge business. I mean, I got to be honest. If there was a fireworks store, it was open twelve months out of the year. It was convenient for me to get to. I would be buying fireworks <laughs> more than once a year. Constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it used to be just a thing like you got to travel to certain states to get it. Like we used mm-hmm. to have to drive. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Pennsylvania Tennessee. was like that. Yeah. yeah, it used to be illegal in PA. Yeah, like Tennessee was our closest <laughs> place to get it. All we had was Zambelli. You wait for fucking the weekend, go see Donner Zambelli fireworks. Oh, yeah. I mean, we could do sparklers nice. and snaps and stuff like that, but they even outlawed fucking snakes for what? a while there. Really? Yeah, we had to drive to Wisconsin what? to get snakes. Yeah, oh, all you could shit. get were sparklers and fucking morning glories. Snakes bottle, are the worst. Thing. Bottle rocket wars are. are the best. You guys yeah. remember the tanks? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, those things were fucking awesome. Piece of gravel <laughs> would stop your tank and be so fucking. Yeah. Put like fucking two of them against each other and yep. have a battle. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, we man. used to throw snaps at each other. You guys have this. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Snaps are fun. Yeah. Put bottle. Put um. What are the things that you put in a uh, pot and pan to make it sound real loud? Firecracker. Sorry, oh. fact. Firecracker. Oh, yeah, Flat yeah. cats. Yeah, I used to always, so our one buddy used to always, every time he'd be sitting on a chair, and I'd throw firecrackers under his chair. <laughs> <laughs> Try really? to light his legs on fire. <laughs> My cousin and I used to set up all our army men for a little, <laughs> like, they were positioned, like, stage in a war, and then you would take turns. You only had so many bottle rockets. That's pretty awesome. And you had the fireworks, so you would throw, that was like a grenade, it was just like a black cat, that mm-hmm. and see how many guys you could take out, and then you get the bottle rocket, and the secret was, you try to get a shot where you could see, like, four Lined oh, up oh together yeah. when you got the right angle and you just I like this awesome. game. Yeah. <laughs> so you were sick. I can't from believe story. none of us died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, all were, we all were. We all were. So we got, we had a winner for um, listener questions. Um, so you'll probably hear your question um, as part of this segment and just know that your question number one, that person, you're getting some merch sent to you. You're getting a shirt sent to you. There you go. So Nick will be in touch with you to get a size, right? Yeah. Sure. All right. You guys <laughs> yeah, are, sure. You don't have enough stuff already on your plate. Um, yeah. So uh, let's get into it. Riddle me this. Riddle me that. Remember, there are no stupid questions, just stupid people. Excuse me. I'd like to ask you a few questions. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers. I want the truth. You, you can't, can't handle, handle the truth. truth. All right. Diggs, question number one. Todd, question number one. Uh, which one was supposed to be number one? The symbol one, I think. Got it. Yes. Do you want me to say his name? Sure, if you got it. I think this was from Sam. Hey, Sam, congratulations. <laughs> he got you his, he got his handle? I do. You want a shirt? I don't know if he wants me to say his handle or not, though. I don't know. Well, I right, think you mind. Oh, Zito said, Sam Tarnoski. <laughs> Sam Tarnoski, you win a shirt. Because <laughs> you sent in a great fucking question. My question for the Heartland is this. 
You know how the swastika was a religious symbol before the Nazis used it? Mm -hmm. If you created an evil organization, what symbol would you use to fuck over everybody with that <laughs> symbol tattooed on their body? Continued, would you then start an evil tattoo removal service and make millions? Well, the second part is definitely yes. The levels. That's a great question. Mm -hmm. Great question. All right, let's go around the room. Uh, fraternity letters. Fraternity, oh, <laughs> fraternity oh, letters. Nice. Fraternity letters. Oh, yes. Do, do like people it. actually get those tatted on them? I'm sure those motherfuckers do. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. I've seen it a lot. Well, you know yeah. you get the Q-Dogs. The African-American fraternities get That's, those brands. I'm not doing they that can one. keep theirs. Hey, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, if, you, if you get it branded on, I don't Nick, count that as a I'm not too. doing that one. Yeah. All right. You know, it's, it's part of it. you gotta, you got to no, no. clarify. Well, that, well, sorry. Clarification. <laughs> Yeah. They aren't involved. Okay. Yeah. This right. is only for Caucasians. Mm. Exclusion. Enough. Interesting. Strictly, strictly Caucasian fraternity. Yes. Okay. Like whites like only it. for you, huh? Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm attacking. Wow. I'm, a I'm attacking the whites. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Which is fine. You're allowed to attack the whites. Everyone is. <laughs> <laughs> fraternity letters. Yeah. Is my new swastika. I love it. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, Nico. I'm going with uh, cloverleaf. Oh, oh. Yes. I've had enough Irish slander Love from it. you and Pat. <laughs> I'm turning the whole community into an evil empire. What about and we're the, ridding the yeah, world of Notre you. Dame fucks are screwed. Notre Dame tattoos don't count, right? Oh, yeah, they count. Oh, They're the worst out. of all. What the fuck? You're out. With, like, the fighting Irish one, the leprechaun? Yeah, he's gone. I think Regis Feldman has a tattoo. Oh, Dame tattoo. Well, Sorry, Reg. God damn it. Get the stepping. Pretty good. And there's a lot would take out a lot of people. I'd be like surprised be, if Reed wasn't into some weird shit. A lot anyways. of fucking mm -hmm. um, tattoos, Irish of, tattoos. I know. Yeah, the I see them. I don't like them. Yeah. Do you have one? No, I don't. I always want one though. I, just <laughs> 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 I wanted the fighting Irishman in the in the. The only way you're getting saved is if you replace it with an Italian flag. Mm -hmm. oh, Ooh, turn that red. orange to red, baby. Everybody would have to because Italians would be in charge, evidently, mm -hmm. if that happened. Well, they tried that once. That's right. <laughs> Not no spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> Zito, what are you? What are you? Uh, I'm gonna. Have, uh, I don't know. I'm. I'm stuck between two of them. Maybe a barbed wire tattoo. Okay. I'll probably be the one I, I attack, or the Is that fish specifically for Pamela Lee Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. And then, or like the religious fish. I always hate those. Going after Christianity. Oh, huh? Wow. Whoa. So Whoa. anyone over the age of forty-five <laughs> and the religious people are screwed. <laughs> Seat starting a new crusade. Oh, you mean the infinity fish? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. That I don't know what it does. I think it's just infinity fish. It's mm. like fish survive forever. I think uh -huh. they don't though. True. Some do. True. Uh, the fish caught. market. The does. jellyfish does. That's right. The fish market does. Mm -hmm. No, I've seen jellyfish on the on the. They're immortal, bro. No, they lay on no. the beach. And yeah, that, those weren't of natural causes. The, yeah, the, well, yeah, you get them out of water. Alone, yeah. Oh, doesn't live forever then. <laughs> 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 They're not the Highlander. Like, you're not <laughs> unbothered. They will live forever. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, Evan, what are you thinking? Yeah, I'm going after the uh, basic girl tattoo. Oh, so you've probably oh, seen this you. as a meme on the internet. Uh, you know, it includes an anchor, a feather. A dream catcher, yes. Uh, infinity sign, not like the ones Eats talking yeah. about. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen like the blackbirds, you know, any of those. Yeah, oh, throw oh, them all in there. Black I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that. All the basic Into the business. Night. Gone. All right, uh, Ty. I uh, really got no issue with it, but just like the Dallas Cowboys star. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there, there are so many people with that. That's good. And instead of, agree, uh, yeah. like, I think instead of, like, getting rid of it, you just have to get, like, asshole or whistle dick branded <laughs> on your forehead. <laughs> One of the two. Or people who get, like, Super Bowl championship Dial tattoos oh. the I year almost, before. That was my second yeah. choice. That One was, of the two. That was my I, second choice. I would choice. agree with that. Bailey, what do you got? Uh, I don't know how to make it a symbol if it classifies, but any uh, live, laugh, love tattoo. Oh, yeah. yeah I enjoy yeah, that. Yeah. Those That's out pretty quick. good. Get them out. Yeah. Uh, I like that a lot. It's overplayed. Uh, I'm going to go with the alligator, and I have nothing against the alligator as an animal or Florida University fans. Very it's, popular tattoo. It's more, <laughs> it's more that I just really fucking am tired of Izod. Like, <laughs> every fucking cost. kid the cost. has cost. 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 Yeah, is that what it is? Yeah. 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 Nick's yeah. Bathroom. You would hate Nick's every kid I fucking hated wore that shit. <laughs> every adult pretty much Nick's I shoes hate. right now are the cost. <laughs> <laughs> Drink it in, Todd. I just, want, you just, I just want it to be gone. Just, just kill that brand. <laughs> what a Have fucking, some class. What a niche attack. <laughs> <laughs> he just been staring at him all day. Yeah. <laughs> just fuming. 
Do you think that was preppy-esque. subconsciously put in your head when you like saw Nick's shoes today? I don't think there was anything subconscious was about it. I think he looked right at him like, yeah, <laughs> fucking Nick. Uh, uh, I think it would be good, though. <laughs> okay. Do you want another question? Yeah, question number two. Question number two. <clears throat> hey, guys, I've got a listener question. My girlfriend and I have been dating for about three and a half years. I'm 23 and she's 22. Recently, we found out that she's pregnant. Parentheses, fuck me, right? <laughs> since uh, you, good old you fucked her. <laughs> maybe. Since good, old, <laughs> since good old Uncle Todd was a young dad, I was wondering if he has any advice. Shout out Billy Gates. Also, how the fuck do I tell my parents? Ooh. Yeah, how would you guys tell the parents? Uh, Put probably yourself in the Just show shoes. up. Just show up? Just with, a, with the kid. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> after it's born. <laughs> Look, what do I got? Uh, I would text my dad a picture of the sonogram. Oh, oh, that's a rough. T- I don't. I don't. Even Here we go. That's that's not a bad one at all. Especially today's world. I feel like, but it's like text gives him the ability to calm down before he ever has words with you. Uh, <laughs> so, my brother's had this innate ability to deliver bad news to my parents his entire life, uh-huh. and like the, at the, like the best time possible. Um, he was, I don't know how long, it was probably 10 years ago. The way you say this, does it mean he's good at it he's or very, it's astronomically bad? Well, you could be, you could go either way. Okay. Um, it was <laughs> like my uh, my grandmother had died, my dad's mom, mm-hmm. and uh, the funeral had happened, the wake had happened, we were just sitting outside on the porch, um, and he came up to my mom and dad, he's like, hey, I just want to let you guys know I'm, I'm failing English. <laughs> <laughs> So he would tell them bad things <laughs> on days where like much worse things happen. See, that's my whole approach. Like I'm a big worse news, better news <laughs> approach to this. And even if you got to make something up, like I would set them down, and I would be, I would get real serious for a second. I'd be like, Mom and Dad, I just want you to know that Tracy and I have both decided that we're going to join the Church of Scientology. <laughs> We'll be moving to L.A. soon. To, and then I, after they lose their mind for like seven minutes, like, I just can't remember the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I would, yeah, so that's perfect. He's doing it for real. He yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, he did it for real. Yeah, but I guess the problem is you got to wait around a long time for something really horrible to happen. Mm. Yeah. But the bad news the is Tracy's pregnant. The good news is it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got that narrowed down. Uh, I love it. Any other thoughts? On how to pre- tell the parents? Yeah. Well, how do you think your mom and dad react with the surprise pregnancy right now, Evan? You're 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 young. So you know what? Age? Quite honestly, I, this is what I would do. I'd be like, hey, mom. Uh, oh, on the phone? Yeah, yeah, on the phone, because mm-hmm. I'm assuming I'm here. Right. And I'd be like, you know, out of all the brothers, my brothers, I have three other ones. Uh-huh. You probably didn't think this was going to happen to me, but <laughs> I'm having a kid. <laughs> and, and I'd just be really blunt about it. That's that. And honestly, like, she'd be like, well... She wouldn't be that upset, and she's mm. like, your life just got a lot less fun. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. all it would be, uh, and then we'd keep it moving. Yeah. Just so you know, your life sucks now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, that your advice for, is that your advice as a young father? No. I, but it, they, right, there's, there's two sides to that, right? So you miss out on a lot if you have a kid that young because, you know. Billy's just well, looking at you right now. Well, <laughs> well, maybe not so much you, but most fathers do. Yeah, most fathers do. <laughs> I still. What you should do, seriously, is you should, as soon as a baby's born, get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> that way, only half your time is fucking taken up. Like you're still free half the time. That's what I did. Uh. You got two, and I'm like, this isn't really fun anymore. I can't go anywhere without this kid. So I'm like, well, if we get divorced, I have every other weekend to myself. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be my first advice. Uh. But uh, the, here's here's some real legitimate advice because I've seen this happen. Mm-hmm. If, if unless your family's religious, get married after the baby is born. I mm-hmm. feel like it's a much more enjoyable wedding if the little one is there for it. Yeah, it is cool to have it's the true. little one in the wedding. It is true. You, yeah, you shouldn't feel rushed about it. Or, you know, get married while she's pregnant so she can't get drunk. She has to take care of you all. <laughs> 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 no chance any woman signs, oh, yeah, you mean I can put on my wedding dress, the thing I've dreamed about my entire life when I'm fat as fuck? Of <laughs> 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 no control. <sighs> on my own. Um, yeah, I, I, but the good thing is, was like when you're you're going to be a young dad when that person's in sports and school and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah. still going to be young enough to get out and play ball with them and all that shit. And at least you're you've been together for three years. At least it wasn't like three months. Yeah, true. Yeah, let's look at the positives. Here. At least you know each other. 
<laughs> Pretty much. You're out of school. You're old yeah. enough to be out of school. Yeah. I don't know what the perfect age is to have a, a kid. 30. I guess it's probably all individual. I wouldn't do it if I had to do it well, again. Well, you've done it. Wouldn't what do age, it before what age would have you picked to have a kid? Probably 32, 33-ish. I could see the 35. steam coming out of Billy's ears back there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he would have had a lot more toys. <laughs> <laughs> Making like twenty grand a year when he was born. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You got a good life. <laughs> All right, I got one more. All right. <clears throat> okay, just listen to the part where you talked about the moon landing. Mm-hmm. Let's say it was stage. What director would you like to see run the show? Question mark. I also love this question. Okay. Who wants to go first? Who? Wait. Who do they allege directed it? Kubrick. Oliver Kubrick. Yeah. Kubrick. All right, so I'll go. Okay. I went with someone who only puts out bangers. <laughs> yeah. This man directed The Three Ninjas. Ooh. Oh, I know where you're going. I cool love Runnings. It. Yep. Mm. Na- and National Treasure. No. Oh. He also directed a 1998 TV miniseries, From the Earth to the Moon. Has an 8.9 rating on IMDb. So yeah, it was wow. on HBO. That was a great <laughs> So apparently it had to series. be great. It was great. And that director is John... Turtle Top. Dang it. I had no idea what his name <laughs> yep. was. John Turtle Top. But shit. I'm aware of his work. <laughs> I mean, he's a genius. It, he doesn't do much work, but the work that he's done. Quality over quantity. Yep. He went from those three movies to From the Earth to the Moon, which was like one of the first, I think, big HBO series. It was. Really, Hanks, yeah. That was Hanks and Spielberg's yes. first yes. big go around. That's right. Plus That's National right. Treasure. Plus oh, National oh, Treasure, so which good. hopefully we get a third one here Great soon. Yeah. Movie. Uh, unbelievable movie. Yes. I love it. Good choice. What are you picking, Nick? Uh, Michael Bay. Yo. Oh. I want <laughs> explosions. So you want Transformers. I want tension. Oh, I want again, dramatic slow motion shots. Definitely aliens. Put aliens in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, give me Wahlberg. Love Probably it. Cena. Bring Cena in for an expanded oh, role. Yes. Love it. I want it all. I want the goddamn moon to blow up yep, when they leave. It. It's pretty good. Love it. I had the same one, so I'll piggyback off that. Except I don't want Wahlberg. I don't want Cena. I want Shia LaBeouf. And you throw Megan Fox in there for me. <laughs> wow. All right. There it is. Yeah. Even with her fucked up That's the watch. Nope. Getting right. the team watch. back together. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're on the I wouldn't have sex with Megan Fox because of her thumb strain? I wish. You have to wear gloves because she has a toe thumb. <laughs> <laughs> So is she still up. good looking? Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. She's so oh, oh, dude. Yeah. Maybe Jennifer's body. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Seth <laughs> Cohen. It's pretty sexual. Yeah. Very, very, very sexual. So, you know who you are? Oh, uh, James doing? Wong. Who? Oh. James Wong. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, creator of The One. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of action in lot this, of action in this, this moon, moon landing. landing yeah. I love it. Hopefully, Jelly comes back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I am Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> <laughs> or what if they just like they ran into the Americans on the moon and the yeah. Chinese were there too? Yeah. And Jet Li was like part of that. Like a huge oh. set piece fight up there. <laughs> <laughs> People floating around. And then the Russians were there too, Zeke. Oh. oh god. Yeah. What would they sound like, Zeke? Nyet. Slughead. It's a perfect movie for him because uh, all the fighting, there's no gravity. Exactly. They don't have to use oh. the ropes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. dude, people being kicked off the boat. Oh, yes. Whoa! Who are you picking, Ty? Well, we already went to the fucking moon, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, fucking Buzz Aldrin directed it. <laughs> yeah, there's no need, but uh, uh, let's go Damien Chazelle, because First Man just came out, and that's yes. a very accurate representation of us going to the moon. Check it out if you haven't fucking seen it's it. It's a great fucking movie, by the way. <laughs> uh, you, everybody knows I'm not the biggest Gosling fan. He won me over. He's incredible. Won me over. Incredible. Oh, you flipped like that, huh? Oh, dude. You're he, soft. Where yes. aren't you? What, what movie drove you away from Gosling? Was it Remember the Titans? Was it Crazy Stupid Love? It was, was it the driver. I just uh, everyone he acts he has the same expression on his face the entire. Oh, movie. you mean good looking? <laughs> <laughs> Stoic. <laughs> yeah, he's always like cool, whatever. And I don't I'm think like, he can help that, Todd. I know. I mean, well, that's probably it. I just fucking hate your beautiful face. <laughs> well, he was though. I mean, he was an absolute fucking liability at cornerback. And remember the time <laughs> so, he was. Yes. <laughs> you know, people yeah, but he was four time player of the week. But he, he was, was. At least he was aware of it. He that's was like, true. Oh, I can't cover him. Coach, you got to put Pete in. He's taking Allen out. <laughs> 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 Yo! He's getting beat. Don't do it. He's getting beat like he stole something, Mr. Bosley. Yo! You stay out of this, girl. 
Okay. I'll stick your man. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, shit. Rest in peace, Gary oh, Pertier. Yes. That was awesome. Yeah, seriously. I, I put a lot of thought into this one. I took quite the journey this afternoon when Can't I was wait. getting this ready to, when I was choosing my director of the Moon Landing film. Uh, my first instinct was to go with George Lucas because of Star Wars, but I was like, nah, it's too easy. Would have fucking CGI'd it up. Right. Oh, yeah. It would have been kind of Muppety. So <laughs> <laughs> then I thought, let's try, let's go way outside the box. Let's go with uh, M. Night Shyamalan Ooh. because he's super creative, but then we risk not understanding what in the fuck happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, so did we land on the moon? Was no one from just dreaming? <laughs> And the moon was really heaven. He was just trying to find his daughter so he could ask her where she hid the car keys before she died. <laughs> <laughs> but, then, but then finally I decided to go against the grain completely and go with our boy Quentin Tarantino okay. because um, I want the moon landing video to focus on everything that happens around the actual moon landing mm -hmm. instead of the, the moon landing itself. And plus, I want to see how many times Buzz Aldrin says the N word. Great questions this week. Keep them coming, guys. We love you. I think it's going to be it for us. It was a fun episode. Uh, <laughs> Keep spreading the word, doing what you do, right? Review, all that stuff. DM the listener questions. And other than that, we'll talk to you on Friday. We're out. <laughs>